it started with me staying in a hotel across the road. Did I get any sleep? No, not at all. Um, you're nervous. You should be nervous. This is this is your opportunity to shine. It's your 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 chance to hit the marks and and prove yourself. So you should be nervous. But the joy of it all is that the um, the APC doesn't put or contribute to that nervousness uh, by the way that it's organised. So you turn up here first thing in the morning and you you can see all the other candidates hanging around and it's not hard to spot one another. Uh, you're all there pacing away, chewing your fingernails. Um, but you're welcomed in. It's, um, everybody here is, is very friendly, very nice. They, they have clearly done a lot of uh, thought and reflection about what it feels like to be part of these days. Um, so you're ushered through. You are uh, given your uh, own room, in essence, to where you would sit, think, plan your, your patients when you're presented with the case file. The case files are representative of what you may well expect within hospital notes, but they're easier to deal with than hospital notes because there isn't the, the multitude of entries that you would have to go through that you do find when you're doing the real world uh, exams or the, the clinical uh, hospital based exams. So the examiners come in at that point, they quiz you around certain things and they give you the opportunity to present your case. Uh, and if you've got your methodology correct, they're there listening to you, hoping that you, you do well. They're in a very positive frame of mind and they are uh, really trying to get the best out of you. They're not trying to catch you out. And I think that's a really important thing to, to put across to other candidates. You're there to succeed. You're not there to, to, to fail. Uh, from there, you're then introduced to your first patient and, it, and it's go. Um, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by how real world it feels. Everything is, is as you would expect within a, a patient scenario. What's really beneficial is that these scenarios are controlled. Uh, they are not um, subject to the normal stresses and strains of a hospital. And even in my clinical placement, the original patient that I was going to see wasn't available, and so we went to an alternate uh, to patient, and that meant I had to read up on two sets of notes and things. Uh, so having this sort of controlled environment actually allows you to go beyond the uh, stresses and strains of a normal hospital environment and into a situation where you can shine and you can apply your trade in, in the best of the situations that you can, you can manage. As part of the SIM um, process, you have at least one hospital exam to, to complete. So for me, the hospital exam demonstrated why the SIM was, was so easy for the simple fact that I got there, the patient that I intended to see, or was intended to see rather, was unavailable. And so we had to then choose another patient, which uh, actually was a patient that had been treated already by another candidate that morning. So. Uh, these are the real world problems that come around from trying to fit into a busy hospital and trying to do a controlled process in an environment that isn't necessarily predictable. The sim environment for me was a lot calmer, a lot smoother. Um, you knew that there wasn't anything going to get in the way. You didn't have to have 360 eyes for whatever else might be happening within a hospital. So it's a lot easier to come in, read up on your notes, be questioned around it. Um, and welcome those questions because actually, they're, they're, I think from my perspective, they seemed like they were designed to help you focus in on what you might expect within the actual consultation itself. Um, you see the patient, you make sure that you tick the boxes that are there within the marking criteria, all that's published by the APC, so you should know which areas you have to, you have to um, score within. Um, and then afterwards there's the opportunity for the examiners to, to question you um, and this is your opportunity to shine really, to, to be able to give your knowledge and show the depth at which you're able to operate within. My expectations for the simulated patients were pretty low, to be fair. I didn't, in my own mind, uh, see how certain conditions could possibly pre be presented uh, without the real patient sat there. Um, I 
couldn't quite see how certain respiratory or neurological or musculoskeletal uh, presentations could be faked, if you like. Um, I was surprised. They, they are good. So the simulated patients are able to express the depth of knowledge that you would expect from a real-world patient. They can uh, talk around the subject, they can uh, express, and, and it felt almost like they were ad-libbing uh, away from a script, which actually is really um, key because then you can engage in conversation. It's, it is a genuine surprise. It is a genuine surprise. I didn't, um, I, I walked in here with lower expectations uh, from, 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 the, uh, from the patients than, than was, was real. They are, they're really good at it. Um, and I don't know whether they do it week in, week out or not. Uh, I don't know how often uh, the, the scenarios are changed. But these are guys who've, um, who've been well educated and either have got good first world experience or first person experience about how to move or how to behave or, or what levels of fatigue, etc. they may well have. Um, but they're, they're able to, to pull it off well. The major advantage of a sim assessment is it's done. It's, it's one day, you can focus on it, you can build up to it, you can commit and you can complete. Uh, for me that's a, an awful, um, awful lot better than what could be potentially strung out over a number of weeks or different visits uh, to you know, the same hospital in the same day and it, it's just a cleaner, crisper environment to be in. Firstly, put some pressure on yourself, you know, make yourself uh, do it, make yourself prepared, um, focus, concentrate, all those sort of things that you may well expect. My advice is, is that um, put everything into perspective, that the, uh, the staff here are keen for you to succeed. They, they want you and, and do all they can to um, perform well. So the opportunity is here for you to cover all of the aspects that the APC are looking for in order to pass you. Make sure you know what those aspects are because the ability here is to do it. My advice is keep it all in perspective. Have it as a wonderful opportunity to relearn what your trade is in a modern environment um, and take it as the opportunity to shine. The replacement of the clinical assessment is, I think, a necessity. I think to be able to generate sufficient placements for the numbers of candidates that appear to be coming through uh, means that hospitals within a strained and stressed health environment in certain areas um, aren't able to kind of give that, uh, that full experience. My life in Australia is pretty great. Um, I'm enjoying myself. My family are enjoying ourselves, uh, themselves. Um, my wife and I both work in healthcare. Um, we live a few kilometres away from the hospital and the kids wander up to school every day. They're, uh, they're really um, rounded children. They've developed well and they've just taken the opportunity um, on brilliantly. Um, we're very proud of the adaptations that uh, our family have made to Australia and we're very, very grateful for the opportunities we've received here. <laughs>